That was not a fart. <laughs> that was my croc. <laughs> Hello. So this is my first YouTube video and I'm sure I'm going to look back on this and think what the fuck. Maybe like probably next week actually but um, everyone's been telling me to do YouTube for the longest amount of time so this is it. I'm just doing it and I feel like this would be a good thing to vlog because probably the only interesting part of my life but basically I'm gonna document me changing my hair from blue to pink um and yeah I don't really have much more to say than that but so yeah let's just get started so yesterday I decided that I'm finally finally gonna change my hair um I didn't think I was gonna change it you know because I actually really 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 loved the blue really liked it but I knew it'd happen. One day I just wake up and I'm like, you know what? It's time. It's time for it to go. And then me being me, um, once I want something, I've just got to have it. So there's no phasing it out. I'm just going to fucking get rid of it. So I thought this would be a fun way to start a vlog. So yeah, I'm going to document the entire process because you might find it interesting but um yeah literally my whole life is blue like my car's blue my toothbrush is blue my towels are blue my wardrobe's blue my everything's fucking blue so yeah i mean it's not necessary that i change those things like i don't need to change my fucking toothbrush but i'm not going to change my car obviously but i don't need to change my toothbrush but i don't want the easy route out i like do you know what? I just couldn't find the words there. But basically, I just, I'm not taking the easy route out. Everyone's like, oh, like, just add a bit of purple and then you can keep the blue wardrobe. No, fuck that. No, I'm not taking the easy route. We're just, we're doing it. If we're doing it, we're doing it. Okay. So, today, I'm going to go and get some colour remover from Tesco. And then, oh, I'm dropping you. Yeah, I'm basically covered in oil at the minute, so I'm trying to get myself healthy for when I try and remove it, because blue is a nightmare to get out. Um, and then I'm going to spend the day selling all of my blue clothes on Depop. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I didn't want to change it, but I just think it's time, it's time. It's the end of lockdown soon, it's going to be summer, I think we just need a fresh start. Also, I've had... Blue hair for one year and five months, which is mad. It feels like... It doesn't feel like that long. <laughs> it's so weird, though, because on the day that I woke up and decided I was going to change my hair, I got so many signs to change it. Like, there was so many pink signs everywhere. It was ridiculous. Like, I opened my Instagram, and it'd be like a jewellery brand popped up saying, feeling pink. And then just, like, so many other stuff. In fact, I will insert them here. So this is all the blue that I've got lined up so far to sell. There's more to come. <laughs> it's sad because it's so easy to get attached to clothes, but you've just got to, you know, you've just got to let go. When you've got this fucking many, you've just got to let go. I'm letting go. Wow, I need to fucking take time. Right. <laughs> this just shows how much I can't wait. It's been like five minutes and I just really need to take this wall down. Like, I don't even know. It's, well, it's just paper. It's not a wall. But, um... I don't know if I'm going to need it again before I take my blue out, but I just want to get rid of it. You know, when you just want a fresh start, like, immediately. I'm going to take it down. This might be a really bad decision, but I can always put it back up. It's a bit of a faff, but let's go in. Here's my dad installing shit stuff that no one's going to use. <laughs> what have you installed, Dad? What's the... Right, so... Someone's breaking in. Someone's breaking in. Someone's breaking in. Set the alarm. Set the alarm. Set the alarm. Shit. I'm stopping nicking stuff. I'm stopping nicking stuff. Run away! <laughs>
me so long to go to Tesco that it's dark outside now. But I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Just hit my stupid little head on the fucking car door. We don't have the one that I normally get, so I'm probably gonna have to get this. Never used it before, but fuck it, it's my only option. So I know that this is not gonna get it out. I mean, a year and a half's worth of dyeing your hair blue is not gonna come out easily. But it's a start, so I'm gonna start with this. Um, it's probably gonna go with some like horrible green, maybe? Don't know. Um, but yeah. And then after that, not today, but in a couple of days, I'm gonna bleach bath it a couple of times. Um, and then I bought some Olaplex as well to use in between. So hopefully I don't fry half my hair, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay, we're on. Yes, I look an absolute dick. I look like I'm going swimming in year seven, but keeping the heat in so it works a bit better. So, see you in 45 minutes. This is after the 45 minutes and I've just realised it's taken the colour out of my eyebrows. <laughs> I've got a patch. <sighs> okay, so ignore the Hermione cut, but I've just finished drying it and it's actually gone a lot lighter. I'm quite happy with that. It didn't look like it had gone lighter at all when it was wet, but yeah, I'm happy with that. So... I'm gonna do it one more time and I don't know if it has the developing time because that might be over now, but I'm gonna fucking try it again. Um, see if that works. But yeah, I'm happy with that for a first try. Hmm. So second layer's on. I don't even know if it's gonna work or not because it might have finished developing, but we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it. Got the cling thing, cling thing, cling thing. I've got the cling film on. And I'm gonna sit by the fire for a bit, for a bit of heat. Any hairdressers that are watching, just turn it off, turn it off now. Turn it off now and come back at the end of the video because just turn it off. Part two, there's no eyebrows missing this time, but yeah, it's a bit lighter. Not bad. I'm gonna do it one more time. I know I'm being really naughty, but I googled it and it says you can do it up to three times. Don't know how true that is, but I'm gonna do it. Round number three. This is getting really boring now and I'm tired. Uh, but one last go, 45 minutes, and then I'll take it off. My bath mat is piss wet through. You've had it when your bath mat's that wet through that it's just so heavy you can barely pick it up. Yeah, it's disgusting. Last one. It's two o'clock in the morning and I've just finished the last one. Oh, so squishy. Um, it's, yeah, it's a lot lighter. I feel like I've really fried this bit though because I don't remember that being that short. I don't know, well. You get what you get. I'll just have an inch off next time. It's fine. Um, but yeah, not bad. I mean, this part's definitely like a lot lighter. It's bleached blonde instead of grey. I like that. It looks like it's been freshly done. But yeah, that is it for tonight. Fuck me. I'm going to put loads of oil on now and go to sleep. It is 10 to 3. I'm absolutely... Literally, doing your hair is just never an easy job. You might think, oh, like, it's going to be an hour. It's going to be an hour's job, this. No, it's never, ever, ever an hour's job. Oh, God, it's so awful. Like, changing your hair just takes hours. Hours and hours and hours. Fucking hell. So tired, look at my eyes. That's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> anyway, I've put all my oil on. I know that didn't take me an hour. I've been tidying up and stuff, but yeah. And I'm gonna put this little turban on. I'm not gonna get oil over my pillow. Don't worry. Um, yeah. It doesn't even look any different, but I promise you, it does when it's dry. I put the most oh, nicey smelling oil on. It was OGX Arg. Is it Argan oil? think so it's a spray oh my god it smells so nice 
never had a oil spray either. I really like it. I thought it was a pump and then I opened it and it was a fucking spray and I love it. I love it. So yeah. I'm so tired. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good morning. So my hair's actually, it feels really nice. I feel like the oil's soaked in. I've got this on my pillow though. I don't know what that is because I was wearing a hair turban. I feel like I might have got colour remover on it, but I don't know. Anyway, it's a beautiful sunny day, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna repaint my nails actually. Get the nails started because they take ages. So that's a bit risky actually, because if someone sees my nails, the secret's out. Um but yeah, I'm gonna do that today and then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna paint. I really want to paint this bag some pink flowers on it. Oh, and my shoes as well. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that in the sun. My parcels have arrived. What the fuck is going on with my skin? <laughs> what? It's literally always fine. And then as soon as I want to film a video. No. Anyway, I've ordered so much fucking stuff. I don't know who I think I am. But I'm going to show you. So I've got some oil wax, which I'm really going to need today. So expensive. So small. That was fifty pounds. Get the bastards. Then I got the white paint so I can paint my bag today. Then I got some clay so I can make those crazy clay like rings and earrings and stuff. Uh, and then some matte varnish and some cloths, gloss varnish for the top of that. Then the main event. The dye. I got a really bright pink one so I can just like put a drop in. And I don't know, make my own colour. But then I've got loads if I use that. Um, these are like little beads to use for the rings. Then I got some nail art fruit slices. They're so cute. My idea was I was gonna use these strawberries and have like strawberries and cream nail, strawberries and cream nails. But I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. So, but I can always use them for something else. And then. Finally, a new clipping fridge. I know it looks disgusting here, but you just gotta trust it. In fact, why is it so long? I'll fix it, I'll fix it later. Cute though. Sick. Little man. Say hi. So fucking tired. Stayed up until four in the morning last night. Who does that? What? <sighs> I was painting my Air Force. They did have butterflies on, but I'll show you. They're actually cute. Oh, nearly fell over. So, they had blue butterflies on, and now flowers. And I'm gonna swap the laces for pink ones. Um. Yeah. Today I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my nails. Did I say I was going to do them yesterday? I might have done. I'm doing them now. I am absolutely dead. I'm, I'm literally dead. I'm dead right now. I'm not being dramatic. <laughs> I've not eaten all day. I've not showered all day. I've still got that oil plex on. I've only just finished my nails and they are really cute, but I've not even finished the fucking other hand. I can't do any more. My back is killing. <sighs> Why does art take so long? I mean, I've been doing other stuff in the day, but doing your own nails is great, but just too much of a perfectionist. I just take too long. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going, getting in the shower. I'm going to get squeaky clean and take this gold flex off. Finally. And then tomorrow is root day. How cute are these? <laughs> It's so nice to have pink for a change, even if it did take me hours. I still need to do the other hand, like, there's no teddies on that one yet, but I can't. I just don't have the energy. All clean and fluffy, finally, finally. I just need food now. And my face goes bright red after a shower, so when, when I get pink hair, I'm literally just going to be like the colour pink. I look like Miss Trunchbull. Got the bleach on and it's ready to come off now. I'm 
fucking buzzing because I've looked horrible for like a week, maybe longer. So, yeah. That was such a big ugly process, but we're nearly, nearly there. Um, I dipped it in a bit of shrine drop it peach just to get rid of like the last green uh, i think that'll do i'm going to put all the plates on it now for a few hours and then i'm just gonna try and do it i've mixed it with paint box uh white so i can't really tell what color it is to be honest but yep that's what we're working with it looks it looks good it looks good it looks good better than i thought i did anyway so yeah, I'm happy with that. So much to do and so little time. Got my hair, it's literally like a block. <laughs> anyway, I'm using the Olaplex number two. Number two? Number zero, the primer, and then number three. I really want to get this done by tonight though. Hair just takes so long. I don't look how cool that looks, that's so cool. I just don't want to be faffing with this for more than the next two days. I still need to paint my boots. I still need to sell my stuff. Oh, I need to dye my hair. I need to old flex it. I need to have my tea. I'm fucking starving. And what else do I need to do? Oh, I need to arrange the post for the review. And I need to edit this fucking video. I need to edit this vlog so it's ready. So much to do. It's actually really good this, you know. I feel like it doesn't run out as quick as you think it would. Like this, I've used it once all over my hair. And it's only used that much so far. So yeah, I wrote it. Anyway, I'm going to stop chatting shit and I'll be back soon. Turban on. So what I've done is I've mixed this fudge white, white a shade of pale. It's for like mixing dyes, but you can also use it as a toner. Mix this with like literally a couple drops of this because this is really bright. Um, but the only difficult thing is usually you can see, obviously if you're using a white, say like a conditioner, you could see the colour it's going to go. But with this, it's purple because it's a toner. So I can't really tell what colour pink it's going to go because obviously it looks fucking purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a strand test on my little fringe that I bought and see if that's all right usually i would tone it first but because that's purple i'm just gonna do that so yeah i'm gonna try that right now i know this is the most unprofessional thing you've probably ever seen but i just do not care it looks really um cool toned so i don't know though i think i wanted a peachy tone so but i can always add like a drop of peach so yeah, we'll see how that turns out. I'm gonna give it like 20 minutes because I've got I've got a bit of time. Beautiful. So this is the colour. I feel like it's a bit purpley. I don't know whether to just put it in normal conditioner or add a bit of peach to it. I don't know whether that's a bad idea. This lighting's a bit tragic, I know, I'm sorry, but this is just too purple for me. So I'm thinking I'm gonna add a drop of peach. Um, could make or break the situation, but I don't know how it's gonna look with purple as well, but I'm gonna just one drop. Well, it's quite a big drop that. <laughs> Let's see what color it goes. I feel like I added too much. What? Why? Why? Can't I do anything? <laughs> mm, makes more sense like that. I think I should do a strand test on my own hair. I've never done a strand test in my fucking life, but I think it's time to start acting like an adult and do it properly before I do it on my hair. So. I've got this old extension from when I had green hair, so it's a bit, bit yellowy like my hair now. So I'm going to use this to do strand tests. I'm going to do another bowl with white conditioner so I can actually see this time what colour it's going to go. Because I'm not really happy with that. So Here are our three contenders. So that is just the Manic Panic and the conditioner. 
Manic Panic and Conditioner and a drop of Peach. And then Manic Panic. What the fuck is this guy doing? He's been like, just stop. This is an important video. Um, and then this, I decided that was too peach. I really don't want peach hair. Um, so I added a lot more Manic Panic to that one. I mean, this one looks the best, but we'll see. 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Sorry, I know it's really flickery in here, but I think it's quite obvious which one I'm gonna pick. This one is so cute. Matches my nails as well, a little bit. Uh, yeah, these are a bit too peachy for me, but yes. Love that, so I'm gonna wash my Olaplex off now and just put it on. Can't wait to get it out the fucking way. I love showers, but I've had so many showers these past few days, I actually just don't ever want to shower again. My mum's just showered me and it's tea time. God damn it! Not finished with this yet. I'll be back. I'm doing it. I'm finally, finally doing it. I can't wait to so just get it out of the way. So here is the colour. Looks nice. I want to eat it actually. But I've used my Garnier um, hair food mask. So that'll be good to have a hair mask on while I'm dying it. I mean, it's not damaging anyway. But yeah, I think I need it. Um, I've still got, so it's peach here where I've tried to colour correct it. And then there's still a slightly green patch there, but I mean, I'm not complaining. This is, this is a really good colour to say. It's only been three days of removing it and, well, technically two days. And this is nearly two years worth of blue dye that was there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Can't complain. So yeah, hopefully you won't be able to see too much of a big change underneath the pink, but um, let's do it. I would normally do it in the bathroom, but I've spent so much fucking time in the bathroom. So I'm doing it in my room. Anything goes today. Anything goes. <sighs> well, it's all on, but I've got a very bad feeling that this is going to go really patchy. I already knew that it was going to take to the roots more because... Well, the last time I had pink hair, it always used to do this when I just had freshly ble bleached hair. But yeah, I really don't think this is going to go well. Ah, we'll see how it looks in... Who does this? Me. Um, we'll see how it looks in 20, 30 minutes. And we'll just fucking go from there, I suppose. I might have to make some sort of pink shampoo up, but that just could be a recipe for disaster as well. So I don't know. We'll see. If all fails, then I'll just have to have curly hair because you can never tell if it's patchy or if it's curly. Got my hands. This is so professional. I'm a dick. Oh no! It stained my nails. Oh fucking hell! This is stressing me out. It's what is it? Nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. I don't want to be doing hair anymore. It doesn't look that bad on the camera, but it's patchy. So it's not that bad, but uh, you see that brown, gray patch there. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't want to be doing this late at night. I just want to fucking, I don't want another shower. I hate doing my hair. I hate doing my hair. Right, I'm gonna have to fucking make another mix and just go over the bits that seem to be lighter. But my new, my newts, <laughs> my roots are neon, so. Okay, I've got the second coat on and it doesn't look as bad as last time. But, still not great. I feel like, no, this is enough for tonight. I'm not doing it again. Um, I'll just have to get up and do it again tomorrow. And then just carry on until I'm done, I suppose. <sighs> Tinting my eyebrows because apparently I like to make situations even worse than they are. Does that mean? <gasps> it is 9.51, I am naked, naked, naked. And this looks a lot better. A lot better. Um, it's still a bit neon. Still a bit bright at the root, but this is the best we're getting for tonight. I think I'll just do it again tomorrow and then let it fade. Um, 
expose. But yeah, not bad. I feel like it makes my eyes look a bit more blue as well, so that's great. I feel a lot better. I feel a lot better. I think it looks a lot better than it did. I put a bit too much oil on it, but just ignore that. Um, it's still got a bit of a neon room and it's still a little bit patchy, you can't really tell in here, but I don't feel as distressed and upset, so that is, yeah, I feel better. I'm going to put some fake tan on because, well, I need it, don't I? Um, <laughs> and I just feel like it will complete the very unnatural look that I'm going for. Oh my god. <laughs> Look what Jake has done for me. <laughs> he made my switch pink. Oh, I love it. It feels so nice and soft as well. Oh, I'm actually buzzing. I don't know why they don't do this colour. They do quite horrible colours actually. But mine's pink. He's so clever. Also, as soon as everything's going pink, I feel like it's only right that we use this for the first time. Strawberry tanning mix. Cute. I feel like it won't be very dark, but... Medium dark. I want dark dark. So right, I'll just do 16 layers. Look at my- oh my god, look at my shadow, that's so funny. It looks like I've got a tiny hand. <laughs> um, that tan doesn't smell nice to say it smells of strawberries no it smells a bit sickly actually it's not very nice but the tan itself is actually really nice it's got a red undertone it's a bit like the U tan one so yeah i rate that i like it i'll see what it turns out in the morning like yeah smells disgusting looks nice looks nice i feel like me again also what i love about tan is it dries your skin out and it makes your skin not only tan, but it gets rid of these spots. I love it. What the fuck? Look at the state of me. What? Why do I look so patchy? Fucking hell, it's so emotional. I've like, been crying throughout this whole film. But I've just done my eyeliner, so I'm not trying not to cry. Anyway, final look. Oh my god, how cute is this? This is, I think this is the final look. I might curl it. We are finally here. It is over. Thank fuck for that. It's all over now. Ah, the transition is complete. I love it actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks like a wig. But anyway, <laughs> if you've made it this far, well done because I imagine this was kind of boring. But um, I don't want to say thanks for watching because I feel a bit cringe. But um, thanks for watching. And yeah, that's it. Thanks. And make sure you leave a comment underneath and let me know what craft you want me to do next. Goodbye, and remember to hit that subscribe button and to give the video a big thumbs up. Okay, bye. Telling me, hello. Tell me to start YouTube for a long time. No, they haven't. <laughs>